In this video, I'll be explaining how to create NURBS curves as well as NURBS surfaces. So NURBS is actually a different type of surface creation within a 3D program other than a polygonal based surface. So what's the difference is that NURBS actually stands for non-uniform rational B splines, which is more of a fancy term for curve based surfaces. So NURBS actually creates more organic shapes, which can be helpful for creating certain objects like terrain or characters or uh, any kind of object in nature other than more of a man-made rigid object. So NURBS, the way it works is it creates a curve, uh, and then the surface is wrapped around this curve, or multiple curves, through the use of a mathematical equation, which creates more of an organic shape. So in a program like 3ds Max, we have two different types of curves and surfaces that we can create through the use of NURBS, and they are point and CV surfaces. So point curves is usually means edit point curves, and then the other one is CV, which stands for control vertex surfaces and curves. So a little bit different of options, but they can still create the same type of organic shape. So in the Create tab, if I change the standard primitives drop down, and if I choose NURBS surfaces, I'm talking about creating two different types of surfaces here through the use of the NURBS surfaces. So the first one is point surface. So if I click on that, just drag that out the same way I would with any other primitive. So this is a point surface. We'll come back to the, the options of it later. Then I'm going to create a CV surface right beside that to show you the difference. So there's my two different types of surfaces. They look the same, look like a flat plane. I'll just hit G to turn off my grid there. If I go to the Modify tab, I have Subcomponent Mode just like I would with Polygons. I have the same options with uh, a NURB surface, just a couple different types of uh, subcomponents. So if I come over here to my CV surface over here, which is the, blue, the darker blue one, and if I click on Surface CV, I'm allowed to choose the points here, my Control Vertex points. So if I drag one up, and it will uh, not show you the change until you let go of the drag button. But if I move my camera here so I'll be able to see this, you'll be able to see that it does change the curve, but it actually changes a little bit different than it would for a polygon. It uh, more has a soft selection without the use of the basic soft selection tool by affecting more area when I just pull one vertex up. So if I move out of here and go to my point curve here, point surface, and if I open up my modify tab and choose point, if I pull this up, it'll do a similar action, but it's actually more drastic as default. And I don't have an option to change that with a point surface. So but I can come in here and create a terrain or more of an organic shape here. But one thing that's different between a point and CV surface is that CV surface, I'm allowed to change that uh, difference when I move up a, a vertex. So and this is by the use of my weight tab underneath my modifier list for my surface CV. So here's my one vertice, and it's pulled up about the same height as the one on my point surface is. But if I change my weight to a higher weight value, it's at a lower value of one as default, but if I change that up higher, it will move more of the geometry. So that's the nice thing about a CV surface uh, or CV curve is that it changes uh, depending on uh, my weight value. So the thing we're talking about is point and CV curves, So which is how an actual surface is created. So if I go back to my Create tab, but then move over from the Geometry tab, and now click on the Shapes tab. So first off, I'm going to talk about the NURBS curves, and we'll come back to the splines. But in NURBS curves, I have a point curve and CV curve, just like I did with the surfaces. So point curve, the way point curves work, it actually creates the curve directly where you click. So every time I click, it's going to create part of the curve. So wherever I click, the curve will follow directly to that, and it will create an organic curve in between points that I create. So what I have to do is right click to get out of the curve or complete the curve. So there's also the CV curve tool, which is a little bit different in that it doesn't create the curve right on where you click. It creates a curve within the lattice of the points that you create. So the points are actually more of a lattice. So once I create three points here, you're able to see that the curve is created within the inside the actual points. So also with either of these tools, if I come over here and click right on top of the beginning point that I have to close the curve out. If I click it, it'll come up with this extra menu that says, do you want to close the curve? Well, yes, I do. So that creates a closed surface here. Then I can create a uh, or closed curve, which then I can create a surface from that. So those are the two main ways to create curves. Point curve and CV curve is really preference, whether you want to create it on the point where you actually click or whether you want a lattice. So as we talked about with a uh, CV surface, it's a little bit more precise where we can change that weight for uh, the particular surface on each point. So also under the Shapes tab is Splines, which have some basic uh, curves here that we can create. The first one is Line, which is similar to the actual point curve. 
So every time I click, it creates a point. But in this idea, it creates straight lines unless you actually click and drag. If I click and drag with the line tool, it'll create a tool or create a curve that is more curved for me. So I also have rectangle, circle, some basic shapes. Then I also have one that's text that's a little bit different to NURBS here. And I can type in a saying here and change the size of this if I want to. And also change uh, the font, but I'm just going to leave that how it is right now. And if I click in here, it actually cre creates the text with the font and size of whatever I type in there. So that's really nice as well. But as you notice, all the curves, they're just curves. There's no surface right now. So what we need to do is create surfaces from these curves. For basic curves like the one we created over here that was a closed curve or even an open curve, I can go ahead and move over to the Modify tab and I don't really have to change this into a NURBS curve or a NURBS surface because it's already there. So with any of the basic curve tools, the pointer CV curve, I, it's already in NURBS options. So I can create a surface by coming in here and choose Create Surface. First one we're going to talk about is just the cap. So this creates just a flat plane. So if I click Cap and then all you have to do is click the curve and it creates a flat plane on that curve. So sometimes it might flip what's called the normals, uh, which is the way the actual face, the surface is pointing there. So I might need to come down here and underneath that Create Surfaces tab and choose Flip Normals if I want the colored side to be on top and the darker side to be on the other side. So it's really an option there of which side you want to be viewed. So that's just the basic uh, cap there. So what I can also do, if I just right click to get out of that tool, is I can also select the curve like the curve and if I go over here and just like I said the NURBS curves have subcomponent modes as well so I just created a surface so there's my flat plane surface then also there's CV curve points which I can also edit these at any point you know reflect it on that surface that I just created so I can move points around I can also edit some points and add some more in there but we'll talk about that later but I could also create more surfaces by selecting the curve and let me see if I can come in here and if I hold down shift I can drag this curve up and it asks me do I want to create an independent copy or copy as transform object. So I'll just do copy as transform so it's one object right now. So I have another curve that's still part of the same object. And if I go back to my NURBS curve, the very top one, and go back down to my create surfaces, I can choose what's called U loft, which will loft a flat surface all the way around this, these two curves. So if I come in here and choose a U loft and I have to select the curves I want it to uh, create the loft from, so I click the top one move down to the bottom one and it creates a surface all the way around so now I'm having a 3D surface again so if I wanted to I could come in here whoops, and then cap that top part off as well so now I have a completely closed in surface here let me go back and flip that normal again on the top so I have a complete closed in surface from NURBS curves Well, what else I can do is use what's called the extrude tool, which is similar to the polygon extrude tool. Extrude tool, excuse me. If I come over here to this curve, and if I go down to create surfaces, I'm just going to use that extrude tool there, and I do this the same way I do within the polygons. I click on the surface I want to extrude or the curve, and just drag it up or down, and it'll create a surface based off of that curve and follow it all the way around. So it's just the basic extrude tool. So the last tool is the lathe tool. So I'm going to move over here to like my front view. Turn my grid back on for a second. So I'm going to come over here and create a basic curve. Let's just do CV curve. So we'll create kind of like a cup-like object here. Something like that. So I want to create a rounded surface from this, this cur curve here. So all I have to do is go back to the Modify tab and go to create surfaces and I'm going to choose lathe so same tool same idea here with this tool I have to click on the curve and it'll create a lathe version of that so I can then come over here underneath my create surfaces options and choose the direction so this is actually the direction I want but I can choose this to a different direction X Y or Z and I can choose the align options and also if I need to flip the normals to move that around from the inside to the outside so but those are some of the basic tools when creating some surfaces with uh, NURB surfaces.